Hey everybody, it's Jerry. Well, today I'm gonna to show you guys how to check the date on your MREs. I've got a few MREs here. Two, four, six, seven, I got seven. I opened one just a little while ago, I was gonna eat it, and it just dawned on me, I should probably check the expiration date first, because I've had them for a little while. And I got to looking, and there is nowhere on this, the outside of this package that it has the expiration date. Well, each one of these packages usually comes in a box. It's a small flat box, just about the size of the package. And it probably had it on that, but I opened them all and, uh, well, I probably shouldn't have did that. So now I've got to open each and every one of these to find out if they're outdated or not. Which sucks. Because, you know, the, the other one was outdated by, I think it was like 13 years. Well, not outdated. It was, uh, actually wasn't even 13 years. It, it, it was, it was, uh, it was packaged in 2006. And this is 2000 and what, 19 now? They're usually good for about five years. They, people, different people say about five years. Maybe, you know, they could be better for, or good for longer, but I don't know. But that's a lot of, a lot of years in between 2006 and 2019. That's what, that is 13 years. So anyway, on most that I've ever used or seen, the expiration date is stamped along the edge somewhere of the package. But there is none of these that I see, I can see that has the date. It's not printed, it's, it's stamped on there. Yep, there's, uh oh, this one's got it. This one's a little better than the one before. I wonder why the rest of them don't have a, a stamped date on these. Maybe it was stamped on there and uh, you know, of course where it's been cut. Maybe that's the problem, I don't know. Okay, anyway, there's one, one package that I have that has the stamped on date. I know you can't see it, but it's right here in the corner. I'll show it to you in, in just a few minutes. Cause it's kind of a little trick to reading it too, if you don't already know. I hate to open all these, but damn if I want to get sick from eating 13 year old food. And I damn sure don't want to get sick for my wife beating the shit out of me for feeding it to her. So, check this one out first. It's an MRE. As you can see, MRE says it there. Department of Defense, United States of America. It's a chicken chunks, white cooked, whatever the hell that means. So, that sure does suck too. I hate to open them all, but we'll go ahead and open them, see what the hell they look like anyway. Cheese spread, let's see if the cheese spread's dated. 
it is dated. And it is no good. Which it might still be good, I don't know. But it's dated for 2006. Chicken Chunks. 2006. Trail Mix. Where is the date? 2007, which is weird. Which is very weird. Uh, electrolyte orange beverage. And it is dated 2006. An energy bar, first strike energy bar, 2007. Hot damn, M&Ms. Holy shit, I've never seen M&Ms in a, one of these packs before. Uh, you all know how to use before 12, 2017. That's definitely no good. Hot sauce. Mmm. Buffalo style hot sauce. And I don't see an expiration date on it. Does hot sauce even have an expiration date? I don't know. Tortillas. Plain tortillas. Where is the date? Oh, 2007. Now, this don't mean it's an expiration date to 2007. It's when it was packed. All this stuff was packed in either 2006 or 2007. Like I said before, they usually, it usually varies, I guess, between you know, what it is and the condition that the packages are in. Usually lasts about five years, maybe a little better, maybe not. But... The actual meat in it was packaged in 2006, wherever I saw that at. Where did I see that at? Oh, there it is. 2006. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys, before the video gets going too long, how to read the, uh, the dates on here. Oops. All right. There's four little numbers right here under my thumb. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's 6344. The sixth is the, uh, you know, 2006 year. The sixth year of 2000. The 344 is 344th day of the year that it was packed on. 2006, 344th day of 2006. That's what it means. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people just don't give a shit. Now see, this, this is a stamp right here. I'm not really sure if you can see that either. Let me try to get you in there. Maybe it ain't gonna work, but it's stamped right here. Six, two, six three two hundred sixty third day of two thousand and six that's the date this was packaged some of this could still be good maybe not who knows little package here What's in it? A couple mints, some beverage base raspberry flavored drink, 
package of salt, which is always good for me, moist towel it, and a little bit of toilet paper. Tiny little bit of toilet paper for after this gives you the shits. So I don't guess I'll be eating that either. This one is dated on the outside of the package, like I had just said. 7200. So that's the 200th day of 2007 is whenever this was packaged. And I don't guess I'll go ahead, I don't guess I'll show it to you. I hey, all right. Yeah, let me go ahead and try to show it to you. Yeah, you can't see it. God dog it. Can't see that. Maybe you can a little bit. Seven two zero zero. But this was two th or year two thousand and seven, which is better than two thousand six. Around closer to the ending of two thousand and seven. I don't guess I'll eat that either. I don't even need to open it. So, now that we know that's no good, slide it off to the side and let's see if any of this other stuff is any good. There's a good spoon. Might as well keep it. Keep the toilet paper. I usually got to shit a lot. So. what we got in this one. This is beef stew. Another good spoon. Here's a little cooking bag. These are always good to have. Where's the other one at? Well, hell, it didn't even have one, did it? Oh, shit. I'll keep it. All right. 2006, 357th day of 2006. So that's no good. Lemon lime flavor. Now I may just keep that too, but I don't know if it'll go bad or not. Spiced pound cake. 286th day of 2006. No good. Multi-grain snack bread, 312th day of 2006, no good. Peanut butter, hmm, peanut butter. I right? may just try it anyway, I love peanut butter. Peanut butter is a good thing to take with you out on the, out in the woods or whatever. Apple jelly, mmm, mmm. 195th day of 2006, I wonder if jelly goes bad. I may just keep that and try it out too. And another one of the little packages. It's got it's got creamer for your coffee. It's got a little pack of matches, some salt, toilet paper, a couple of mints, and it's got a package of instant coffee. I don't know what this other thing is. I'm not going to open this. I'm going to go ahead and keep it too, add it to my, my bug out bag. Pretzels. 341st day of 2006. Yeah, I don't care enough about pretzels to really give a shit about that. Hot beverage bag. Fill with hot water to, fill with water to appropriate Feel line, add bravery powder, remove air from bag. Place bag, place beverage bag in FRH as you would an MRE. Activate FRH, where is it at? The FRH is the heated, the uh,
the, uh, the, 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 the cooking the package. You just add water to it and it heats up. Trill mix. Well, hell, I don't even see it. Did they rip me off again? Oh, maybe I should. This is what they're talking about. What you have to do, I guess, well, you tear out the top up here. There's two tear lines. Tear off the top right here. You fill it with water to these lines down here. And you just put in whatever you're cooking. Fold it over. Uh, there should be right here. This is like a little, this little burrito microwave thing. You put it in there and you lean it sideways against something. Don't want it to lay down because all the water will come out. But leave it set up sideways and you're good to go. So maybe I should keep that too. I'll keep this. Keep my toilet paper. I might actually even try to trail mix. So after I get all this crap open, we'll see what we're keeping and what we're not. Let me make sure one more time. There is no dates on here, which it's not. This is the beef taco. Beef taco. I do like the tacos. Uh, 2007, third day of 2007. It really sucks that I'm not really, I'm not getting anything out of this. 354th day of 2006. Another little package, got toilet paper, uh, flavored drink, coffee and all, yep, yeah, it's got the matches and and uh, mints, I'll keep that, cheese spread, I don't care for much for cheese, I'll keep the little cooking device, a little package for making your coffee, rice and beans. Sixth year, which lots a big one. Sixth year again. Mm, I don't need that. All right. Not really getting too much out of all this crap, but oh well. It's a learning experience. Always got to think things through, which I never do for some reason. Cheddar cheese crackers. Ooh, 13th day of 2007. Another little package of coffee, matches, toilet paper and all. I'll keep that. Cornbread, holy shit. 337th day of 2006. Cheese spread, spoon. Tropical punch powder. It's got a stamp on it. 264th day of 2006. I'll keep the beverage bag and the little cooker. Vegetable crackers. I don't care what date that is. I don't want to keep it. The chili with beans. 362nd day of 2006. Bastards. Bloody bastards. Italian breadsticks, sixth year. 
333rd day of the sixth year. What the hell is that? Oh, meatballs. Beef snack strip. Ooh, that'd be like a beef jerky. 343rd day of 2006. I'm gonna leave this one out and we'll check it out, see if it's even any good. Beef jerky is a very good, <laughs> it's a very good favorite snack of mine. Chocolate chip cookie. 334th day, 2006. There's another coffee and everything. I'll keep it. Cheese bread with jalapenos. Tropical punch. Garlic mashed potatoes. 2007. That sucks. I like them garlic mashed potatoes. And another cooking device. Here's the thing. Chicken noodles and vegetables in sauce. Oh my God, I found my favorite thing in the world. Skittles. I love Skittles. 2007. Seventeen, two thousand seventeen. More coffee. Uh oh, the apple jelly has busted. Motherfuckers. I'll put this in another bag here so the wife don't kill me. I'm on her table. It's raining outside. Peanut butter. With no date. Yeah, there's a date. 221st day of 2006. I'm gonna just go ahead and keep that anyway. Drop the punch, spoon. Mango peach apple sauce. Where is the date on you? There it is. 338th day of 2006. Three hundred thirty-fourth day of two thousand six. There's the cooking device. Like I said a minute ago, I'll actually show you guys in a separate video. The next video, I'll show you how to uh, actually use that. Here's some crackers. There's a big old date right there. Seven zero one three. That's the thirteenth day. Of 2007 is what those that means. Big old date on this one. Well, shit. Oh well, here's another one. This is the 2017 because it had the stamped on date. 200th day of 2017. Let's go ahead and open it anyway, just to see what all in here. And look at that. All this is in its own individual package. That's what I've been used to. Everything packaged together like this in one package, not just thrown freely inside of one of these. A spoon. bag, a coffee and all, and a cooking thingy, cheese spread, barbecue corn nuggets. Apple turnover. Hot sauce seven seven one four three 
tortillas, plain, and chicken burrito bowl. Yeah. Well, that's it. That's all of them. Just wanted to show you guys how to uh, read the dates on here. Again, here's the crackers. 7013. That's the 13th day of 2007. That's what, that's what these numbers mean. There, there's a lot of other numbers on some of these that, uh, like this. 13, 29, 11, blah, 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 blah. It really means nothing. And this is it right here. Three or six, three, three, three. 2006, 333rd day. None of the rest of this crap means anything. There's 14, which would make, you know, make some people think it's uh, 2014, which it's not. That's none of this shit even really matters. It's right there. But, yep. It sucks. I got a bunch of nothing out of a bunch of stuff. So, anyway, I'm out of here. I might do a video on how to cook something. I might even actually go ahead and try something out. But, for now, I'm out of here. Y'all guys, take it easy.